So we thought we'd do you a nice, quick, short Mitch fits videos. So we do lots of complicated, fancy build videos, but we thought we'd do some more nice, simple videos to show you how to fit some of the things we sell. We've been asked about this one quite a lot. It's a really simple thing to do. So we thought Mitch would show you how to do it in Steve's T6.1 and a few other vehicles. So this is the ITG Transporter HQ Performance Air Filter that we sell. Nice, simple, performance enhancing tool to add to your van. Now I'll hand you over to Mitch and he'll show you how simple these are to fit. Okay, a nice short video today installing the ITG air filter. Uh, we're going to do it on the T6. This is a Euro 5. It has the spring for the, um, the boost pipe opposed to the Jubilee clip. We're going to show you both just to make it super obvious for everyone. So the first thing we're going to do is take off the intake pipe from the air box and then take the top half of the air box off to gain access to the old filter. So I've grabbed my pair of pliers. These are a bit more specialist with the shape in here. It's designed for gripping these um, clips. You can use sander pliers, but they will be a little bit harder to uh, keep the clip on. They might slip off. So I've squeezed the trigger and popped off the intake pipe. So now we'll disconnect the MAF sensor, like so. And then the final stage is there's some two clips, one at the front, one at the back of the air box. And that will lift the top half of the air box off, gaining access to your filter. So as you can see, they're the same footprint. Obviously that's down to the air box dimensions but you've got quite a thickness difference. So the reason why we're wanting to fit one of these performance filters is one, you get more power because there's greater airflow. Um, you've also got three stages of foam filtration. So you've got a coarse foam for filtering obviously the, the thicker bits of particles and then progressively down into essentially like sand particles or dust throughout the stages. You've got a mesh here to prevent any blow through from the, um, the foam if there's any degrading over the years. This does have a lifetime warranty to the original installer. So does he any reason that the foam degrades, obviously you've got a warranty for that. So we're gonna install this now and then reassemble the airbox. So I've grabbed the sticker that comes with the air filter. This is to show that it is a reusable item. Uh, and when you have your vehicle service, don't just throw this filter away. It can be cleaned and re-oiled. So obviously reused. So now everyone that's worked on or works on this van in the future will know there is a performance filter and not to throw it away. So that's the installation process of the ITG THQ air filter. Um, nice and easy as you can see. We're going to go grab a T6.1 that's got a slightly different style uh, clamp just to show you the difference. So as you can see we've got a Euro 6 vehicle here now so that's some T6s and all T6.1s. They don't have that spring that's a little bit fiddly but they just have a Jubilee clip. So you grab a flat blade, undo your Jubilee clip and then pop the pipe off. So that's the difference between doing an earlier vehicle or a later vehicle. Everything else to remove the airbox is now the same. Hopefully you enjoyed that video and it was a nice, simple thing to fit. Let us know in the comments below if there's anything else you want us to show you or Mitch to show you how to fit to vans. We want to try and put some nice, simple, easy to fit videos out there. Anything you've got questions on or videos that you think we should be releasing, or please do comment below and we'll try and well, Mitch will try and cover as many as he possibly can. If you enjoyed the video, please do press that like button. It means a lot. It means YouTube shows it to more people. Please do subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this and the other ones we're doing on the crazy Tesla build and the crafter build and the dream camper van build. And as always, thanks for watching. Yeah.